Hi, today I'm going to be talking about using LaTeX on the iPad. And as before, I'm going to be using my favorite app, the A Shell, which I've currently opened. The first thing that you'll want to do is to open the A Shell and just type LaTeX and press enter. And this will ask you if you want to install the entire LaTeX distribution. I've already done that, so I'm not going to be repeating the same thing. Instead, what I'll do is to demonstrate how you can make an effective, sort of an effective workflow with this, with the LaTeX package inbuilt. So I'm going to be using Vim as the editor, which is provided within the, within this A shell. And I'll be using the documents app to preview the PDFs. All right, so let's, okay. So currently I'm in the default directory, which is returned by this particular shell. I'm going to be using my bookmarks again, which I showed in the previous video. I'll go to jump home. This takes me to the location of on my iPad slash my folder home, which I've bookmarked. I have already created a folder test where I have placed an image for image.png. This is just, just one vanilla picture which I'm using. It's a screenshot of, in fact, how LaTeX was being installed on the iPad. So in this folder itself, I'm going to be creating the, the LaTeX file, which I'll then be using, compiling using PDF later. So let me type vim one.tech to get started. Now I'm not really a vim heavy user, but I've just picked up some commands. So firstly, I'll be pressing, I'm in command mode, I'll be pressing I to go into the insert mode. I'll be writing document class as article. I'll use the default size for now. I'll use begin document and I'll use end document. And between, I just want to write something. Hello world. And I'm using a bridge keyboard. It's an older keyboard and it didn't really have an dedicated escape key, which is fundamental to them. So I've remapped the caps lock key to the escape key, which is an important step. So I press the caps lock key, I press colon WQ to write this out. And if I now view, I have in this folder, I have one dot tech and image dot PNG. I could just type PDF latex and if you see I just type PDF and it auto completed when I tap pressed and name of the file. So it says that it has written the output on one dot PDF and it's written the transcript on one dot log. Let me let me now open this file right so if you see no, so this seems to be an older file. In fact, let me go to browse on my iPad home test and one dot PDF is again for some reason the older file. Okay, so maybe I'll have to first close the documents app and ensure that it's refreshing. And then again, let me open the documents app. I open the folder, I open the file, and yes, so now you see that this is this file is hello world. Of course, I want my editor and my PDF view to be side by side, so I'll open the multitask view. And I'll drag the A shell to the left hand part. And the good about the good part about this documents app PDF here is that it will automatically refresh if I make any changes on the left hand side. Let's do that. Let's go back to Vim. Pressing I to go into the insert mode. And let me let's say right begin enumerate let me just create a simple first write a second 
new and enumerate and I'll just escape to go to the command mode wq to write and exit and let me again run pdf latex one dot tech and if you see that the pdf automatically refreshed which is a good thing let us do a final test by trying to include or to insert the image that we have i'll again open them i'll move to the top i'll need to go into the insert mode I use the package graphics with the X and not the S and let me then go here and just call include graphics the name of the file is image press escape or caps lock wq pdf.latex now we see on the second page this huge image has turned up all I now need to do is to just scale this up go to insert mode and just run it width equal to let's say one times the text width and let us run pdf latex again and now you can see that this image has been introduced into this PDF. And if I just zoom in, so this is the view which I was talking about. When you write LaTeX for the first time on the A shell, it asks you if you want to download the distribution. If you just press Y, it takes about, it can take a, depending on the internet connection, it may take a few minutes. And you're done. So this is again a sort of a hacky workflow I would have preferred. I would always prefer a full blown ID. There are quite a few full blown IDs for the iPad which do the compilation locally and do not require internet. And given that the A shell is now available and it also includes PDF LaTeX on the, the entire tech life distribution, I think it would be it would be good to have some more applications built on top of this full-blown IDs where you get much more advanced features, including things like if you click on the PDF, you can go to that position of the text or easily navigate between multiple files. But for now, I think this is a solution which can work. Thank you.